Good morning. Uh, my name is Alice White, and I've been a member of Emmanuel since 1990. Hmm. I know you're saying, I don't remember seeing her. I only remember her the last four years or so. And that's sort of the gist of my faith journey and what I like to think of as coming home. I was raised in a Methodist church by my maternal grandmother, Ora Musgrove. She took me to church every Sunday and Sunday school and gave me that nickel to put into the um, tides, made, making me feel very grown up. And I grew up knowing that God loved me and I was a confident, secure, happy young child. And I never missed a Sunday meeting with MYF. But like most teenagers, when you go away to college, you get caught up in studying and in the social scene, and you drift away from church. Then you graduate, and you're so busy caught up in jobs and pursuing relationships. Well, by 1990, when I first came to Emmanuel, my life had pretty much been miserable. And the pain was so unbearable that I knew nobody could fix it but God. So I drove to this little church that I'd never been to before and I quietly slipped in, trying to not call any attention because you're sure that somebody could see all the mistakes you've made in life. And I chose to sit up front because I knew I'd be alone there. And as I raised my eyes to the altar, there was a banner up there. I can't quite remember if it was purplish blue with a big butterfly and it said believe in miracles it struck at my heart it would take a miracle to fix me so I sat there and I listened to the sermons and the scriptures and the songs and tears slipped down my cheeks but I came back every week and I cried every week till finally I stopped crying and started healing. I started hearing the words and started to develop friendships like Doris Ray, who kind of took me in. And there were other church angels like Jesse Marcus and Ruth Buell that got me involved. And um, life got better. And when life gets better, you forget you need God. And life wasn't really too bad, but all of a sudden, around 2010, I connected with a high school friend that I used to go to church with and NYF with. And we were talking, and I realized how much listening to his participation in church and his belief in God, how much I missed that. And I made up my mind one day, well, I'm going back to church, and it wasn't important that the house didn't get cleaned and the dust bunnies under the furniture got bigger. What was more important was what I needed spiritually. And I came back, and some of the old people weren't here, but there were new angels that I call them, my church angels. There was Elsie Klein, who gives wonderful hugs, and you know all the lovely ladies of United Methodist Fellowship. There was especially Ernie Kilborn, who was not only nurturing, but a good nudger. She twisted my arm behind my back and got me to be treasurer for UMW, which was one of the best things that she ever did. All the wonderful ladies and the sisters and spirits and the congregation in general has been warm, supportive, friendly, and they've become my family as well as my friends. And um, I thought that with all that God was giving me, I wanted to give back. So whenever I can, I try to give back 
whether it's my monthly shopping for the Community Place Cafe or being the, the treasurer for the United Methodist Women. If I had the time, if I had the finances, I am more than willing to give back because I feel that God and Emmanuel have given me an awful lot. And the best part of all in giving back is working with Rick and the other volunteers like Brian Davis for doing the plays, whether it's Vacation Bible School or the Christmas plays. It's not only fun and entertaining, but it lets the inner ham out in me. I look at this second time coming back to Emmanuel as, as really my true homecoming. And it's like um, a tourist that goes off on a trip and you take a lot of long winding roads and finally you get back home. And all the places you went to visit might have been nice, but nothing as good as coming home. And Emmanuel's my home.